Okay, so I'm at my best friend's house, and uh, me, my older brother, and my best friend and his older brother were all like, let's build a fort and, you know, spend the night out there, because I'm guessing it was a Friday. And uh, so we, uh, <laughs> like, two houses down, there was a construction, and uh, they had, like, random stuff that they were getting rid of, and, like, ply plywood, and, like, metal sheets. Um, so we took them all, and it was, like, trash. We took it out the dumpster. We take all this trash into my best friend's backyard, and we build a little fort. I mean, it was a pretty cool fort, too. Uh, we had, like, we had the metal sheets as, like, walls, and we put a green tarp over it to, like, hold it all together. It was pretty cool. And, uh, well, we were going to sleep in it, and, like, you know, just that that was the plan. We were going to sleep in the, the fort, and, uh, yeah, that was it. So we built the fort, and uh, it was a pain, by the way. Because uh, we're using rusted metal sheets and, like like I said, plywood and stuff like that. And uh, tarps. But we finally get this thing built. And my best friend's older brother goes to ask his mom if we can actually sleep in it. Because for some reason, none of us thought to ask before, uh, you know, we built it. Uh, I mean, we were, we were kids. We were younger. And we built this thing. And he goes in to ask his mom. And she said, absolutely not. And we're all sad, like sad, sad. And she's like, no, you're not going to sleep in there. It's supposed to rain tonight anyways. Um, and yes, it did indeed rain that night. And so we ended up sleeping inside, you know, like hooligans, like normal people. And, you know, we sleep. It's just a, it's pretty much just a normal sleepover after that. But we come out the next morning and our fort is destroyed. There is the, the plywood that we had as the roof fell through, uh, ripped the tarp in half. And the walls had fallen over and everything. And his mom, well, first of all, his mom hated that we built it in the first place. She was like, you know, you have all this trash in my, my yard. Uh, she, she told us, you know, tomorrow morning, because uh, we kind of told her when it was getting dark out. Tomorrow morning, you know, you're throwing everything back in the dumpster. And, uh, I mean, it's a good thing she said no. Because we would, the ply, or the, not plywood, the metal sheet would have fallen on us. And, uh, I mean, I don't know if it would have done any like serious damage or anything but i'm sure the ply oh my i keep wanting to call it plywood the metal sheet wouldn't have been a uh, good for you know some four kids uh i mean i guess some wood a wood uh thing did fall on us or it would have fallen on us if we were in there because the walls kind of fell in too but so we're dragging all this stuff to the dumpster we're throwing it all back in and you know we're we're, we're sad but the guy who lives across the street came out, and he asked us what we were doing. So we told him we built a fort. And he was like, oh, that's so cool. And like we told him the whole plan. We told him we were going to sleep it in and everything. And he was like, oh, that's pretty cool. I might have to, I might have to get my son out here, and him and I might build a fort. So uh, we, we, got, we inspired some old, like, 35-year-old dude to build a fort with his son. I don't know if he actually got to sleep in it, but uh, I hope he did. Uh, GG.